this young thing with Cypher Seattle. We checking in with a uh, live from the One Stop Swag Shop, and we got my man, the best with that battle shit, the best with that wordplay shit. Sirius Jones, Sirius Jones, what up? What up, what up, what up, world? How y'all feeling? I'm feeling swaggy in the swag shop off this good Seattle. You know what I mean? Tree, that is. So uh, talk to me, let me know what's going on. All right, so uh, first of all, I want to ask you, uh, since I said you were the king of that battle and stuff, actually, I should have said you were the king of that battle and stuff. Pretty much when you, when you finished, you was, that was it. You was kind of undefeated, mm -hmm. and that's that. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I think I've got higher mountains to climb. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think it's really important that I um, add the attention and light on my talent as an artist, musically. You know what I'm saying? As a director with my films that I've been shooting, like Life is Serious, um, some of which has become like real cult classic, you know, things on the internet and stuff like that. Where can that. they find Life is Serious on the internet? Right now you can find Life is Serious on YouTube, you can Google it. Also, you can go to GetSerious.com, log on, that's my website. It pops up as my fucking movie, but, you know, the point is, uh, it's a lot of material though that I got online that I, I'm trying to really promote and get people to focus on. Some people don't see artists as more than one thing so it, it gets confusing as a, someone that came from the battle world and um, still sometimes would like to just eat a rapper and get $15,000 I gotta think about my career my music also and, and not just let that be the you know the bait every time you know I want to just get some quick shine and some quick money and really um, sell my music sell my movies and, and sell my product you know what I'm saying yeah so, uh, speaking of moving past the battling thing, mm -hmm. um, you did that, you moved on, and uh, for a minute you were with, with Ludacris, mm -hmm. and uh, but that didn't work out. Do you want to let everybody know, you know what happened with that? Sure. It was not the birth of Sirius Jones's multi-million dollar debut to the world, which is what it needed to be. You know what I'm saying? Before what the situation called for and for what the attention around me was at, at that moment, you know what I'm saying? For me to have a multi-million dollar deal, but not to be really followed through on by the parties associated with that deal, it's like, well, what's going on? We thought this was your big blast off. It's not. So I look bad by being in a situation with a label that's not really fully going in for me as an artist, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Especially when I got a, a a big name or whatever, you know what I'm saying? From being on MTV and being, um, you know, highly watched online and stuff like that. So it was important for me to um, take control of my own and, and not allow myself to just wind up dependent on some other older rapper on his ninth or whatever album that not really so concentrating on. You've pretty much moved you know, on and there's no yeah. bad, there's no bad blood. I think um, it's more important for me to take ownership of my own career as a man. You that's know what I'm saying? And that's, that's how I was raised. I was raised into you, you eat what you kill. You know what I'm saying? So Beautiful. I'm not out here blaming a, a label or blaming anybody for not recognizing my motherfucking greatness. You know what I'm saying? But I'm appreciative to the people that are. Oh, we're going to build our own fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? You at home or, you know, the, the people that have seen and, and my movies and music and, and, are, and are asking me, what's up, my nigga? Why you, why you ain't got the big, you know, somebody else million dollar deal? You know what I'm saying? Because the business is, is uh, you know, it's up to me at the end of the day is what I'm saying. So until someone else proves to me that they can... You know, just take my career and make some money with it. You know, all these millions of fucking views and, you know what I mean, thousands of uh, downloads and, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's really up to me to make sure that I'm not losing and we still stay in the winning circle. You know what I mean? Um, so that's pretty much how we got you out here in the Northwest, Nick. Right. You're, right now you are in full grind mode. Right, full fledged. Yep. Pop up in your city. Where can I get some money right now? What's up? 
I'm serious, what we can do. <laughs> so, so let's have a show, let's have a walkthrough, let's do a hosting, let's have a bat, you know what I'm saying? So, let's get the money. Right, let's get the money. Yeah, this is what my homie has, uh, you know, bestowed upon in Seattle, which is why we out here now, just so y'all know. But go ahead. No, I was going to say, I was going to ask you, uh, who do you think is most as far as artists right now, and who are you not feeling the most? And if you okay. feel everybody, that's fine. You don't got to worry about nobody. Well, well, well. Who am I feeling? Besides, Besides myself. Besides yourself. <laughs> so, um, I think Drake is really clever, you know, as an artist in, in the melodies he picks, you know, lyrically. Um, I think Wayne is really lyrically in terms of clever wordplay and, and bars. You know, it's, it's keeping a level of standard that, that hasn't been consistent in a lot of the other rappers that, you know, been around. I think, who else? Um, I think Wiz Khalifa picks clever melodies and, and, and flows. I think, uh, who am I not feeling? See, then when, I, then when I just say how I feel, I'm throwing people under the bus, there's a caption on the fucking world star. But, uh, I'm not feeling, you know what I'm not feeling? I'm going to say what I'm not feeling. All right. That way you can, you know who it applies to anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling complete and utter fraudulence. Like, I can't really, as a, as a real human, it's weird to me to listen to people that we all know are not, you know, kingpins or, you know, big, huge gangster bosses and pretending you know, and, and feeling the way that you feel when you listen to somebody like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you used to listen to gangsta shit, it was because, like, yeah, that's my nigga. I know you, you know what I'm saying? It puts you in the right zone of gangsta shit. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like we're listening to complete circus characters that we all know, but still, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All the niggas, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> oh, wow. See, I didn't say it. Well, but, you know, on, on all that, of the characters that are applicable to this kind of antics because the hood and for the kids and for just our culture as black people, I think it's important for us to have more representatives that represent real life, you know what I'm saying? That represent what we're really about, that represent something that means something to us so that we get more from music than go sell dope and bust your guns so you can fuck some bitches and ride around with some chains on. So I, I'm not feeling the imbalance, you know what I'm saying, in terms of the representatives that we have as the so-called cool niggas in rap, you know what I'm saying? So, so uh, skinny jeans also, let's just add that, jeans looking, like, looking like a woman is, should not be acceptable for a black man, that's all I'm saying. Tight assedness and, and tapered to your ankle jeans is just not manly at all. You know what I'm saying? And, and all you young niggas that don't really know what's cool to do, you know what I'm saying? And you just following this rapper or whoever, you know what I'm saying? That's just not the way a man presents himself. You feel me? Pants hanging down to your knees to the point where your boxers are, are looking like fucking parachutes hanging over them. Like, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? This, this is what I'm saying though, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, if you get me off this cushion, that's my opinion about rap, rap I'm going to fucking tell you, you know what I'm saying, and hip-hop. But uh, these are some of the things that I'm witnessing we're, you know, falling victim to as a culture. Just weird shit, because it ain't no real cool shit. You know what I'm saying? Just go with the weirdo fake shit. Hey, this is all we got. It's like smoking bad weed when, when you can't find the, you know, the, the good shit. You know what I'm saying? Well... Seattle has really appreciated your presence out here. You know what I'm saying? Mixing your, your, your flavor in the gumbo pot that we got out here. Um, like he said, you can go to the getserious.com, check out his shit. If you don't know, Sirius is one of those artists that is and is on the verge of about to blow the fuck up and become your mama's favorite rapper, your favorite rapper, and your kid's favorite rapper. Um, before we go, we got one more question. I want to know how you feel about um, the streets giving Rick Ross the name Officer Ricky. <laughs> wow. You're really trying to give me the, the, to under the bus Rossy, huh? 
You know what though? I say this about Ross. I respect Ross's grind. See, that's what people, that's what you can learn from a nigga like Rick Ross. Because this nigga made sure he kept coming. When the controversy hit and people were speculating on this, he kept shooting. You know what I'm saying? Sticking to his script. Now that's one thing as Americans that what I learned was, you know, fucked me up and made me understand better what American hustle is about. You know what I'm saying? And what just grind is about in terms of it don't matter what niggas think. You know what I'm saying? What matters is what niggas buy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, and that's at the end of the day, is, that's what I'm trying to get. That's all I want from you. I want the opportunity to be somebody that you buy. You know what I'm saying? Just give me some attention and see if I'm cool enough to, to warrant that. You know what I'm saying? Listen to some songs, some video, you know what I mean? This is the grind that I'm on. This is, this is what uh, these interactions have to be about. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in front of a camera, when I'm in a show, you know what I'm saying? When I'm rocking, spitting, whatever, so. Without being too long-winded off this motherfucking Northwestern when that's the only great one left. I appreciate y'all presence. Seattle has been more than love. You know what I'm saying? And you can pass me the L on the exit just for the perfect timing. Closing to Cypher.